Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news that fear and uncertainty has returned to global markets overnight. US stocks are down around about half a percent in late trade and European stocks fell by about as much. The New Zealand dollar down slightly to 81.2 US cents this morning tends to rise and fall with appetites for risk. Now, the fear is back because there hasn't been much progress on the fiscal cliff in the United States. There's 36 days to go. We're in countdown mode now, and Congress returns after its Thanksgiving break this week. And despite several days of talks, there hasn't been an obvious sign of any move to a solution. It was a warning overnight from the Congressional Budget Office that if the fiscal cliff happens, that the jobless rate in America could rise to 9%. Meanwhile, there's also concerns about the Greek rescue deal. There's been two failed meetings so far, to, so far to come up with a solution. The European Central Bank is apparently talking about extending the terms of the Greek bonds it has, potentially returning some profits from those bonds to the Greek government, or allowing a Greek buyback of those bonds and cancellation. Everyone's trying to avoid the day of reckoning, a crystallisation of those losses inherent in Greece's very slow growth, in fact, its collapse in its economy economy in the last few years. Germany, of course, opposes that crystallisation of those losses. So the European Central Bank and others in Europe are trying to extend and pretend away the terms of that debt. However, the IMF isn't going with it. It wants real relief for Greece in the term of a restructuring. Meanwhile, a surprise choice overnight for the Bank of England governor. The Bank of Canada's boss, Mark Carney, has been picked. He's seen as untainted by the turmoil in the City of London. And finally, closer to New Zealand, the earthquake strengthening work that is expected to happen throughout New Zealand after the Christchurch earthquake could cost $100 billion. That's according to Queen City Law in a paper delivered to a conference last week. That's 10 times the cost of leaky buildings. I'm Bernard Hickey. That's 99 from interest.co.nz.